This is so wonderful. This is great. Again, if I were back to when I was three or for your uh, son's Henry, age. Henry, for Henry, he's three yeah. years old. Yes, right. Almost. He's, perfect. He's going to love this. And there's nothing like sitting down with a good book, and we want our kids to find it enjoyable as well. And you want them to go in there and to explore themselves. And snuggle in there with and them. And snuggle too. and have fun and be cozy. This is wonderful. Tanya. Thank you, Christina. Thank okay. you. I'm what, really, really happy about this. I know Ava is your inspiration for everything, but what <laughs> was your inspiration to do this? Well, you know, I just wanted to sort of tear her away from her iPad. I mean, I know she's only four, but even four-year-olds, they're on those iPads and the TV. Yeah. And, and so I wanted to create a little more of an incentive for her to read more with me and together or by herself. And it worked um, yeah. because she is in this all the time now. I made it a few days ago. We set it up at home. And uh, wow. yeah, I want to show you some video of Ava having fun in it. What are you guys doing in there? Um, I'll put your hand in. Put your hand in. Oh, are you guys reading books? Yeah. Ava, what's your story about? Mine is, mine, mine is the, the bunny rabbit thing. The bunny rabbit thing? Yeah. This. Wow, what are you guys doing in there? Do you like your tent? The bunny yeah. rabbit thing. Your TP? Yeah. Plus, the bunny rabbit thing. A lot of Okay. <laughs> She's a little, just, little, little bicycle with that. <laughs> we know that's not reading, right? That's, no. that's well, entrapment right there. It is, right? <laughs> so but she's so been cute. in it every single morning, every night before she goes to bed, and I'm, I just, I'm so thrilled because I put a lot of work into this, and it was, yeah. Well, you what did. materials yeah. do you need to, to make something like this? So really, this is all just scraps of fabric that I already had at home, and you know, you can use bed sheets, cotton, pillowcases, whatever you want, old clothes, just rip them apart and just find pieces big enough to you know to mm -hmm. patch it up so it's the fabric you've got your wood pieces these are scraps that I found at a hardware store they were two dollars each that's it thumb tacks I got these little brass tacks um, and I just pr literally you can press them into the wood or use a hammer mm -hmm. and then um, that's pretty much it I just I use some lace here to decorate it and whatever else you want to put and then of course blankets well, and pillows okay. and all that let's for take inside. a look at you in action with this yes so here I am with my uh, the, the wood, and I just took 12 inches down, made a mark, and then with my drill, drilled a hole 12 inches down, lined them all up, made sure they were even, and then I took the twine and I just stuck them all together. I strung them all together. Very easy. Now you probably need a second pair of hands to help you um, get the original frame. Once you find how wide you want it or tall you want it, and then just wrap that twine around there, make it super tight, super sturdy, and then you start tying and, and putting on your fabric. So I wanted it to be a little bit of a shabby chic look at the top, and then a more tailored look all the way down, and you're literally, you're just wrapping your fabric and pushing in those thumbtacks or hammering them in. Your fingers get a little bit sore, and you just continue all the way down until the entire thing is covered. And it took me probably about, I don't know, four or five hours, but it was a family affair. There's a whole bunch uh, of sure. us, you know, making it, and we got it done much uh, faster. Ava loved it. She watched the whole process. She was a part of it. Now, uh, and what, what does it cost to make this? This, because I had all the fabric, this cost me under $25. Sure. Wow. So if you wow. have all the fabric and you have your blankets and pillows, I mean, you really don't have to pay. There's, it's not that much money. I just, so, I, go oh, ahead. You need to finish. Well, I just wanted to show you the finishing touches after all of that. The next step is what I wanted to do. This is optional. Is I didn't want any holes in there. And plus, kids can be a little rough on these things. So you take your fabric glue and you just run it along the seams where the fabric meets. Mm -hmm. And then you just you can go on the inside. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did all the way around to kind of create sort of one piece of fabric now, is this, but I want to is this for you ladies yes, that yes. are are what? very um, uh, clean yeah is this a little <laughs> too messy for you the sort of shabby chic look with the no but it's because it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's clean but it looks clean. messy though because it's, it's okay. got pillows and it's stuff. supposed there's to be there's a plan fun messiness yes it's an the, organized mess it's a welcoming messiness yeah. just want to check go on in and read your book